So you guys see this hole? Yep, I just got it done yesterday. It's fine dry. It's very strong. You guys see how strong it is. That's where the winch is going to go right here on the top of here. It's going to aim that direction toward the pole. You guys will see this in a second. Bring it all back here. And they all show you right over here this position we're going to show in a second. I'm not going to show, yeah, you guys know where it's going to go. The winch is going to go right on top of that pole. You guys see that. So all we have to do now is have to drill those two holes on the, three holes on the top of that guy. And the same the other mast too. And before I do that, we have to lower this mast down. And we'll have to um, do that when we do that. But first I'm going to put the boat winch on it sometime, maybe today or tomorrow. If it's not going to be raining all day. But first thing, I just got to put the dirt back on. That dirt pile there you guys see. And the rocks on it, we're going to be doing that. We're going to probably get the dirt pile up so I can actually get a little high stand up. So I can put the winch up there and also I can winch it on that side. And it's about five foot tall, the wooden pole is. And these poles are about maybe about three feet tall. The ones down here with the blue tape. Um, it's about three feet in the ground with concrete. You guys see it right here. I'll show you in a minute. Just like the other one I did years ago. I think 2022 when I put the concrete in that guy with a bag. I did the same thing with the other one. I put a garbage bag inside of this thing in there with concrete so the wood would not rot but it's pressure treated you guys see what's going to do you guys get an idea what i'm going to do with this guy to give you a great aim direction you see where i'm going to put the winch at where i'm going to winch it halfway it's in the perfect position you guys can tell by it then i had to pull these weeds out the other day those spiky things these little guys here are spiky things i pulled them on the other fence so my dogs won't get them and they're over there. So it's all woods in there, guys. Yep. In the wintertime, this stuff will die out. That's just some wasps in there, you guys can see. Let me show you. Yeah, little wasps. I've seen two different kinds. So you don't want to get stinged by those guys. We do actually have a horn nest back there, too. In the back of the woods, I've seen. Way back there, you can see a horn's nest I've seen back there a while back. So this pole is going to line up this position here when we crank it up it's pretty close but if we have to aim it that direction toward the pole it'll be fine and we just have to put that boat winch on the top and get this dirt on top of this to make it go a little higher and it should be able to give me a little bit stand maybe like four feet above me uh, it'll, be, it'll be like four feet when you're standing up there instead of five feet but we got at least three foot in the ground it's very solid it ain't gonna go nowhere you can do anything with this you can tie things to it put another pole on it you can always do a lot of great things with it you can do a lot of great things with this kind of pole but this thing I just have to worry about kicking back out that way that's all I have to do worry about that when I crank it up this this way when I crank it up like this when it cranks up like that that's the only thing you have to worry about but yeah so and it's looking quite good so our pole is gonna be really good we're gonna be putting that in there real soon and the first thing I'll be doing with that boat winch, I'm going to put some bearing grease on those little sprocket things. You guys know what I'm talking about, the big sprockets. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to give you a little update on that. You guys can take a look. See what I did with this guy. He does a beautiful job did that. But that's usually a 10 foot pole right there. About 10 foot tall. And it's about 3 foot... Um, it's about three foot for the top of those lower things. Mostly, it's ten foot from the ground up. So we're gonna put those three things on the top there, the drill, and we gotta line that north position where that blue tape is. You guys see it right there. That part was where I'm gonna line the rotor up when I lower it on the ground first. When I lay it down, that's how I'm gonna do it with a piece of string to make sure I get the thing very close to line that little spiky white thing on it. That's what I'm going to do. And it's that little peg thing you guys just see on the top. That's the only thing I'm going to do that. So everything, when I push the button, it might be perfect on something. Then I can get an idea of point north, south, and all that. And you can recalculate no matter what. But it'll be, the other rotor type systems are different than, than this one. But this one, 
you have to set the north position when you do this. But when you put the rotor on, it'll set the north position when I do that. It'd be quite nice. It's going to be quite close. So it's kind of drizzly right now, but it's pretty good. We're going to be burying this dirt real soon. And maybe we'll put the boat wrench on today or tomorrow. It was not going to be raining that bad today. Today shouldn't be that bad. So this is a compost pile system we have here. We spin that with dirt in it. So it's doing good. And we got the last of the peppers here. You guys see this kind of black stuff. It will kill all the grass and weed. Be next year's garden. And we're still getting peppers in these things right now. So it's coming up pretty good with these peppers right now. You guys can see them. So we get more of these every day. So we get stock up for the winter, but it's pretty good. So you guys can see this Mako V5000. So I can show you the cereal antenna. You guys see the beam antenna. It's coming down rain right now. But I got the flip camera on here. So I'm not taking the cell phone out right now for this in the rain. So this flip camera will be okay. Because it's been through snowstorms in Utah. When I took it on a selfie stick one time and attached it, I went on a 70 mile trip with, uh, to Logan, Utah with one of these cameras. It was the silver one. And that's what I did back then. And we did something like that on a video a long time ago when I did. Not on this channel, it was on another channel I had a while back. And showed them on road trips. But this camera did that. So this is the Mako V5000. It's doing good. We had to lower that down to get that third ratio right here. That little thing on the top here. We had to pull that out. And get that rope taken off here first. And we got to lower this down. So we got to raise that Mako V5000. So good thing we had to do that soon. You guys see it right there where that pole is. And that's where I got to drill these two hole, three holes right there. Where that brick is somewhere down below right about here i have to drill this and get that thing lined up the north position before i do that to line the rotor to it and then the run with the little short stick rotor uh stick thing that little thing i have if i would have put this thing on this on this pole right now it would have been about 70 feet guys it would have been like 75 feet with this thing about 74 feet if you put this on the rotor right now that's how tall it would have been. This will get me 60 foot where the gray thing's at. If you put it on the top, it would have been like 64, uh, 63 feet. But if you put it right here, along your antenna 60 feet right here, it'll be fine. And if you put it right there, it'll be about 60 feet right here. That's about me, about 2 foot on top of that. 3 foot on the top would be at least 63 feet. But if you put it right here, it'll be about 60 feet right here I want. So that would be like 60 foot. If I would have put this on it, it would have been 74 feet. So this would be like a backup system in case later on. Well, but I'll keep this for a test pull for a while. But we're going to put this thing on here like we did the first time when we put the beam on that. That will be the one to be on top of the rotor. And that's going to take some time to do it. But you guys know I've been working hard. And we'll get this break from the rain. So it's starting to let up. It's the last part of the Halloween current stuff, stalling and everything. But I bet you a lot of roads are out. And a lot of the people are going through those alternate routes. Some are going through here where the town here in Rockwood, Harriman, where that road goes right down. And they can cut across town to Atlanta, to South Carolina. That's where most people will go through here. Because they're going to go through Interstate 40 to North Carolina stuff. So they have to go around the Asheville Highway. A lot of things I've been watching on, seeing some of the posts on Facebook on, on, um, the internet from the Knoxville News and all those things. You guys know how that is. And that's what they're going to be doing a lot of it. So far we haven't flooded here yet. It's been quite good. But I did a really good job on this uh, 6x6 pole. And it's a yellow pine wood. It's pressure treated. So I had to spray paint this yesterday with this paint you get at Walmart. The cheapest you can get. So I had to use that. Instead they don't use the blue cans anymore. They use that white cans now. But I have one blue can left before the for the poles and stuff because I have to save those black paints in case when you scrape the poles and stuff like that and probably paint a few of these with the bar things on it. But one's actually JB Wells I had to lower this guy down when we do that maybe when the weather's good hope it'll be nice sunshine for the week not too hot not too cold and we'll have to do that during the week when we do that. So we're going to be putting the boat winch maybe sometime today or tomorrow. The first thing I have to pile this dirt on this thing and it'll be quite good. So I'll be right back 
and I'll do a second video and show you how to power the dirt up. This is UDX362 East Tennessee waving on back and we'll do a part two video in a few minutes and see what it looks like with the dirt on top of it. Here we go out of here guys, the second video. We're gonna put the last uh, three in there. And I was using this kind of tool. There's actually one of these tools, I actually use this tool. This actually did the best I can. That's what we do. And this is the tool we're going to be using this. Okay, this is the tool. It's actually um, one half. That's what this guy is. And this thing is cranking up pretty good. I'll show you a little bit more later. We got him in. This thing is not going to move anywhere. So we're going to bolt those three in there if we can try and fit. I'll show you that thing. Shock a wave. It's looking good guys. It's looking beautiful. And it's looking great. Just wanted to tell you I got done this early season. We'll probably put more bolts in later. We'll probably do it tomorrow. Just we got it up there. We got that winch. It is looking beautiful. So we got the dirt pile on that thing today. You guys remember the concrete was piled up earlier today. So it's still kind of wet. I'll show you what it looks like from my position. It's going to line up, but I just showed it a minute ago, but I just did. Alright guys, I know it's kind of late, but that third video I showed you, I'm going to make them clips. we got a little light here. Okay. So the winch is looking good. We showed you the three bolts a while ago. We actually put the rocks in that thing. So I just had to put through two more of those silver things in there. The lag bolts I'm talking about, you guys seen? You saw them on the video a few minutes ago, about 10, 15, 20 minutes ago. So we're going to be able to do that real soon. So it's looking very lined up. Uh, it's already seen the dark, but it's not dark now. It's still dust right now, but you guys can see where it's going to crank up right there. I did the chain lined up a while ago, but I had to win in to help my mom and dad a few minutes ago. That's what happened right there in the video. but. You guys saw what it looked like, the tool I was using and stuff. So winch is looking good. This thing is not going to go anywhere. Trust me. It has like two bags of that quick type concrete you've seen. The red bag stuff you guys seen in my previous video. And it's got about three foot of concrete in the ground. And usually there's concrete on the top of that rock. And I put dirt on top of this from that dirt pile here so we did that because um, I can actually stand up to it it'll be like four feet to my neck but it's almost about five foot to my neck but the thing is about five foot tall but when you can crank that crank thing it's going to do very good when it lines up this position pole right here it lines up perfectly so when we put a piece of mule tape on it with a rope on it and use the chain hoist that's the only way we we'll probably will do that the boat winch that's what we'll do and it'll be quite good so if you guys saw the third video, sorry about that little clip, it gives you an idea. Sorry I had to ran the house. But tomorrow, I'll put the third boat, we'll show you a little bit later how it cranks. And, for our, and I have to lower this pole soon, but we need to make sure the weather's good, but it's probably going to be another rainstorm soon, but, and I knew we would have to do the other stuff. But it looks pretty good, but this is a 6x6 six six pulse, and it is very strong. So this thing's not gonna fly off or nothing like that. So it's got this thing's bolted in the lag bolts I have in a very strong you guys saw in the bag we showed. They're about that big, about that deep inches, about that long. It's about that long, that's how big it is, about that long. So they're really bolted in the ground when they got tightened these three inches. See it does that. Man, we got some deer out here. I don't know if you guys can see them. That's actually some deer you can see in the background there. Just walking right there, you can see them in the dark. Yeah, there's actually deer walking through the woods. I just saw them. Yeah, they're out there. They come out every night once in a while, but they do come out every single day every when it gets dark. But yeah, there's deer crawling right there. You guys can see it. Way in the woods. I'll show you in a second. If you see a shadow moving, you'll see it. 
they are. You guys can see it. It's moving around right there. We get these deers all the time. They come out in my front yard, and that's what they do. And they usually do that to eat the grass. So there is actually a deer right there. Right about there. And that's what I'm saying. And I'm saying, guys, it's looking good. That's my other golden doodle guy. That's Luke barking. He wants back in the house. And the chicken coot's back in business. You guys see it? So it's looking good. We had a fixed light uh, this morning because it was a loose bulb on the uh, light. So everything's good. So this is great. UDX 362. And I'll show you guys in a second. See what this little cereal antenna looks like in the dark. But it was been raining all day today. We had some rain earlier and on and off. And it's starting to sprinkle right now, but looking good. I don't know if you guys can see the beam antenna. We'll look it up in the sky to give you an idea. You see where I'm pointed at? You guys can see it. Let's get a glimpse of that right now. There we go. There we go, we can see it like that. Doom, doom, doom. You guys saw that. That's what that beam looks like. Also, let's put the Mako B5000 on. She's looking good tonight. So, if you guys enjoy it, but it's looking pretty good. See, it survived Hurricane Hamilton, the tropical storm. It did not mess with that much. It did have some light winds, and that's the worst thing we had. You guys love it. So UDX 362, East Tennessee, 79 smoke screen, shot the wave. And I'll catch you guys later. We'll bring out some more videos sometime soon. This is UDX 362, Foxman 362. And we'll show you that little crank up winch in the next video when we get time. Got to put the two bolts to make sure everything's good and lower this down. And before I do that, I'm going to test that pull out to crank it up and look at it. Make sure everything's good and probably had to put some meal tape on the rope on those things to make sure it doesn't kick out. But you guys know what I had to do the rest of the process had to do. But let's hope the weather's good for the whole couple weeks. But I think we're gonna get some more rain soon in the next couple week or so. You guys know where that tropical system's at in Mexico in between the Cancun area. But I think we're gonna be getting another batch of that hits. So all I'll do is take this third thing off. And crank that beam up that's all to do and put the three bolts like these things in that other mass I showed you about the trash can a while ago so we're looking good UDX 362 East Tennessee I'm gonna say shout out to wagon master 390 you had a great video last night that was an awesome video you did just want to say bring out some more videos like that and it was pretty cool man so I'll catch you guys later and UDX 21 old 2 radio network and all the other guys in the UDX Members Club, this is UDX 362, East Tennessee. Wave it on down. And I'll catch you all later. And we'll bring out some more videos sometime soon. I just wanted to show you my book, uh, winch. That's what it was. I just wanted to show you. It looked good. Everything was looking great. But we'll have to put two more uh, lag bolts in it. And we got it set. And we'll have to lower this, um, the mast down. And get those things drilled and put the other thing on. You know how that how happens. UDX 362, East Tennessee, 79 smoke screen, shock a wave. Catch y'all later.